team fight or even skirmish scenarios. But X Special getting caught out by Vulcan has to burn the alts. Flashes away, Stand United comes down, and as soon as that shield popped up, Vulcan just backed off, so they're happy with that. A flash and Stand United. TSM wants to go though, because they have to go in 20 minutes. X Smithy's available, the crescendo goes down, they get knocked back. Chrono Shift is gonna bring Jarvan back to life as Wild Turtle will be the first victim of this team fight. The odd one gets exhausted, his damage is mitigated. He's gonna be the second one to fall. The time bombs on X Smithy and he's he's brought it into his whole team. Vulcan take a lot of damage, but two for zero trade, realizing a Stand United wasn't up. And I'm gonna level with you. That fight and this fight doesn't look good for TSM. They're gonna carry on chasing. The third kill goes down. Dyrus tried to throw himself in there in the background. We see a special going down. They pick themselves up one. Dyrus will go down for his trouble. This is a five for one trade. They're not afraid of TSM at all. And they're going to get Dyrus right now because Psycho Sid was pushing him back a little bit by himself. And now, Dyrus in a whole lot of trouble. Takes a lot of damage, gets knocked against the wall. Crescendo goes up, that's gonna hold Dyrus in place. He will get Chrono shifted up by Reginald, as Reginald will most likely be the first one to fall in this fight. It's actually gonna be a special in the background. Odd one goes for trying to knock up Man Cloud. In the background, Reginald's pop, third kill of the game. Vulcan oh, no. is just destroying everybody. That is the second ace within three minutes. We'll see if it can work in their favor right now. Double lift with that immense range on Caitlyn and starts it off Baron Nash with the assistance of Big Fat LP. He's gonna do the best he can to Ooh, take things on up. Baron. So they do have a little bit of vision and here comes Kerr. Shock Blast is up. Big Fat LP uses the Grand Skyfall to get to safety. So now Baron's one. low though and Kerr's just gonna take it up. It does look like they wanna get it. There goes the uh, death sentence in. They flash forward. Crescendo locks them up. Warning Death goes forward but Big Fat LP manages to secure Baron. They Chalcer dies in the engagement though. Double lift. Flashes past the shock block on the left hand side. Big Fat LP is probably going to get taken down. He is shut down by Draven. Ace in the hole is going to secure the killing blow onto Nijacky. Up in the river. Nien is taking on three. He's tanking three. He is so beefy. The damage is just not there. Another juke away from the CLG members. They did get Baron. Cop is not over. He carries on chasing. But Nien flashes to save. And without a middle turn for Twisted Fate as well, it's much harder for him to find spots in the jungle where he can go in for an initiation. But this is a TSM initiation. They're flanking yes. in. The Zanyas, he locks it down and throws it in. The Thresh hook misses. They tried to land that perfectly. Here oh, goes look, the paranoia on the team. Box goes down. Dyrus still trying to initiate. This has been Team Solomid continuously trying to catch up, but they've had the follow-up damage they were looking for and still keep CLG on the backside. That was a brilliant collapse in by TSM and an even better time Timing on the Zhonya's Hourglass from Reginald. The Orianna ultimate hit the Zhonya's, which meant it didn't do anything. It allows TSM to put in a strong counter push. Up these team fights. It was our featured matchup, Double Lift versus yep. Wild Turtle. We might see a fight oh. here because Nian presented himself. Nian gets a lot of cooldowns right there. They get him back into the box. Dyrus gets locked down. Whoa, they're going right under Dyrus. He gets himself Full out heal. and he has taken almost all the damage necessary. Double Lift on the backside, gets gold carded, instantly cleansed off, almost takes down Reginald. The entire team starting to close down now as they gain positioning on the fight. The Iceborne hitting up Expecial, locks down the Shirelias comes from him, but here's Reginald again. Look at the chase. Oh, they can still chase this down. This is the team they've been creating to synergize with. The chase on the Iceborne Gauntlet. Is it going to be enough? The shield going down and they just multiply in deaths. A double kill coming in for Wild Turtle. An ace overall and somehow three people of CLG are alive. That gets scary. Psycho Oh, says, there's the barrel. Oh, they hit Zuna. There's the cleanse and the sass. When he gets hit up, that means the death mark is going to hit. He gets down. Balls hits him with one more Q. Balls goes down as well. The one for one retribution kill. The shutdown going over to Lemonation. This is going to be an obliteration fight for Cloud9. And Sneaky picks himself up another one. It's in the mid lane. They're not going to let them back as easily as they as they want to just run here. Cloud9 have to make a move and they just whiffed the arrow bottom. So that was a huge engage that's gone. Mantoid Cloud, though, in a very, very tough situation. He's core in the base. Oh, he threw the card instead of waiting on it. Gonna go ahead and sit on this one, but his team is at Baron Buff. He is gonna get a little bit of damage onto High, but High can heal up pretty quickly, and here's the engage at Baron. Taking it down, Meteos is in the front line, trying to get that absolute zero off. He can't get to the back. He's trying to Ice Blast on Azuna. So much focus went to Zuna, pushing him out of the base, and it might have been what they needed here. The Baron Den. Psycho Sid taking so much. Zuna's forced to back. They're saying, you are our last defense. They were able to get the Baron, but at this point in the game, that's not worth four members because Cloud9 can go right up the middle here and end the game. He has red buff, but there's no kiting to be done. The fight is in his face. He goes down. Cloud9 comes back from what looked like an impossible win and keep themselves on top at number one. Congratulations. Look at them. What?
They can't even believe it. That was the most amazing comeback that we have seen in the summer split. Thanks for watching the weekly top five plays. Make sure to subscribe and visit ESFIWorld.com for more League of Legends coverage. We've had some great games going on today, guys. Three more to go with myself and Ja on the desk coming up later. And right now, he's actually going to be on the Telestrator to break down some of the great plays of the day. Thank you very much, Kobe. And Kobe, Riv. And we also have... We're going to slowly start wrapping up. Going to throw this over to Jat at Replay Central in just a moment. Kobe at Replay Central. See, I've been affected. Jat has got on my mind. So we're going to break down some of the plays for the last three games. Kobe, take it away. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, is it Riv? Is it Jat? It's Kobe. I'm here to bring you guys some nice play breakdowns. 